So you're down bad and you're in desperate need of some cash, but nobody's hiring in your area. So what do you do? You go to YouTube and you search high paying remote jobs. And most of the videos are clones of each other and they kind of tell you the same exact jobs, the same exact companies. And since everyone is applying to the same jobs, almost nobody lands any of them. Now, Younger Shane was in this exact position and I had a terrible experience trying to find a remote job and I tried a bunch of stuff that didn't work, but eventually I found things that actually did work. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what actually works. And on top of that, I scraped the highest quality data from across the internet from a bunch of different self-reporting websites and I studied it, I found some really interesting facts and I'll be sharing those with you in this video as well because these will help you to land the perfect job for you. So in this video, I'll be talking about seven of the highest paying remote jobs to actually earn money. So the first one on the list is going to be a content strategist. And this is where you basically create comprehensive and strategic plans to optimize and manage digital content across different platforms. And an interesting fact is the term content strategy was first coined back in the 1990s, but its roots can be traced back to ancient civilization's storytelling traditions. So stories were basically the original form of content. And content strategists make about 54 to $89,000 a year. Now some career paths that are a bit similar to this that you might end up going into instead of this, if you're interested in it, or you might even end up going into them after this one, would be SEO specialist. They make about 51 to $93,000 a year. Digital marketing manager, they make about 71 to $128,000 a year. And copywriter, they make about 47 to $75,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. And yeah, learning the skill of content creation in general is just unbelievably valuable in this day and age. I would know since I have a YouTube channel, of course, and YouTube is probably the best platform to create content on when it comes to actually making a living and being able to monetize. And it's just the best platform in general. And I've actually helped a bunch of other people make a living and sometimes a killing on YouTube. I mean, you can see one of my testimonials right here. I'll pop it up on the screen. Because of his advice, I was able to create a strategy for a relatively small niche that gets me leads for my product every month. And I actually have some free training which will teach you exactly how I did it, which you can check out down in the description and the pinned comment below. But yeah, content strategist, really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a property and acquisition specialist. And this is somebody who manages valuable lands and ensures that they're being used responsibly. So they basically manage land use agreements as well as acquisitions of those lands to make sure that everyone is on the same page in terms of what can be done and what can't be done. And this ensures proper use and conservation of the land. And this position is typically hired by government agencies or real estate companies. And in this position, you can make 65 to $112,000 a year. Now, some courses or training that could help you land this job would be natural resource management training, real estate fundamentals, and GIS certification, which stands for Geographic Information Systems. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. But yeah, this is a pretty good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break, so... I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you wanna work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a sales enablement specialist. And in this position, you basically arm your sales warriors with the ultimate tools and strategies that they need in order to close the deal. So basically, you're going to be supporting sales executives in various different ways, for instance, creating proposals or collaborating on promotional materials. And you can almost think of yourself as part of the pit crew for a race car driver, ensuring everything is in top shape so that they can win the race. And in this position, you make about 74 to $119,000 a year. So it's very well compensated. Now, a career path you might go down would be an assistant manager of sales. They make $98,000 to $174,000 a year. A sales representative manager, they make about $106,000 to $191,000 a year. And a sales representative, they make about $109,000 to $202,000 a year. And then way down the line, you could become a senior director of sales and they make about $262,000 to $448,000 a year, but typically you're gonna need at least eight years of experience. So yeah, tons of opportunity here. I've said it a million times. I think everyone should do a sales job at least once in their life, even if they don't plan on doing it very long. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. Now, one of the best industries to work in is actually the technology industry for obvious reasons. There's tons of money in there. And there's actually a free training, which I'll put below on how you can actually get a sales job, an entry-level sales job at that, 
in the technology industry, and you can make anywhere from seventy to hundred thousand dollars a year in your first year. So definitely check out that free tech sales training. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. But yeah, this one gets an opportunity score of nine point five out of ten. Next is going to be a client communications specialist, and this is where you're basically going to manage all client communication across multiple different platforms. And this fosters a positive relationship and it exceeds expectations for the client. And an interesting fact is the term customer service dates back to the year 1912. And this is when LL Bean founded his company with a 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. And client communication specialists make about 46 to $68,000 a year. Now, some other related career paths you might go down would be a client concierge. They make 65 to $110,000 a year. A senior client communication specialist, they make 82 to $134,000 a year. Or a director of client experience, they make 127 to 227 thousand dollars a year here's some opportunities i'll put them up on the screen you can pause if you'd like so yeah this one's pretty good i'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score by the way guys share this with a friend family member or someone who just needs to get a freaking job we like to grow this channel organically through grassroots and that's why we work so hard on the content so you guys really enjoy it and then you share it with your friends and family next is going to be an it recruiter and this is exactly what it sounds like you're basically going to be recruiting it talent for companies and companies need a lot of it talent out there let me tell you and that's why it recruiters make about 83 to 141 thousand dollars a year now in order to understand it recruitment it would actually help if you know it a bit and so you could take some certificates and some training on a site like coursera the google it certificate is always good but yeah it's really good and the career path kind of looks like this so junior it recruiters make about 45 to 73 thousand dollars a year mid-level it recruiters make about 83 to 141 thousand dollars a year and senior it recruiters make 92 to 151 thousand dollars a year some jobs that are similar to this one in terms terms of the skill set that you need to have would be technical sourcer. They make 69 to $111,000 a year. HR specialist, they make 59 to $96,000 a year. And talent acquisition manager, they make 109 to $182,000 a year. So those are all good ones to look into if you're interested in this one. But overall, I really like it. I think IT jobs are amazing. I've seen so many people get IT jobs just with like a Google IT certificate or taking course careers IT program, which is another one I can link down in the description in the pinned comment below, if I remember. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like. But yeah, this one's really good. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an admissions representative. And this is basically where you represent a university and you talk to students who want to get into those colleges. And in this position, you'd make about 52 to $77,000 a year. And some other career paths that are similar are going to be a transfer admissions counselor. They make 42 to $61,000 a year or an admissions manager. They make 77 to $128,000 a year. So basically this is a very important position for colleges and students because it just makes sure that the right student students get into the right colleges that are a good fit for them. Here's some opportunities. I will put them up on the screen for you. So yeah, overall, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a financial representative. And this is where you basically provide financial advice, recommend products, and help clients manage their finances. And there are entry-level positions from certain companies where they're willing to train you in how to do it correctly. And I love this quote from good old Benjamin Franklin, where he says, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And getting into this position is kind of like becoming a personal trainer, except instead of training the body, you're training your finances. And an interesting fact is the role of financial advisor or related careers became prominent in the 1970s. And this was following a period of economic instability, which highlighted the need for financial guidance for the average person. And financial representatives make about 65 to $112,000 a year. So some other careers you could look into is becoming a junior financial advisor. They make about 48 to $84,000 a year. And then a financial representative, of course, and then a senior your financial advisor, they make about ninety-five dollars to $178,000 a year. It does require some training, but a lot of the times the companies will actually help you with that. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did a video on 11 high paying certifications and the jobs that they lead to. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.